Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about how to get driving licenses in Germany. So in today, I'm here with Marta Fines and she is a Kenyan YouTuber here in Germany and um, she does videos about um, beauty and lifestyle you can check her channel out subscribe to her i'll leave her link in the description below so check her out and subscribe to her okay so the first question i'm going to ask her is about um can a foreigner uses his or her driving license from his country in germany yes uh, it's possible to use your um, native driving license here in germany but only within the first six months and in this period you have to if you're staying longer than than that you have to convert it into the german license but if you do not plan to stay more than 12 months then you can ask for a special permit to use the one that you have um, yeah for the 12 months that is possible okay, okay so um why is it good to get your driving license or get your so I mean, there are many advantages of having your own, uh, having a driver's license. Mm -hmm. um, about having your own car, this is not a must, but I think a driving license is quite of essence. Um, first of all, it's um, sometimes it is a job requirement to have a driver's license. For example, if you're doing like ambulance um, okay. this is the house-to-house -house, um, care of the ill or the elderly. Oh, okay. Then you have to have a driver's license. Um, the other thing is, I mean, it's flexible. Sometimes taking the train with all the connection, it takes longer than um, driving your own car. And the other thing is, I feel is like when you're going shopping, like that is the reason why I actually got a car because I was getting so frustrated uh, carrying all the bottles of water uh, sure. and the shopping. Yeah. And I said, it's very please. very stressful. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I said, yeah. please, Lord. The first thing I want to have when I start working is a car because I am tired. Yeah, you know, some of, the, some of the reasons are that. And sometimes you just want to have fun, you know, leisure, yeah, drives, yeah, sure. yeah, stuff like that. Or especially when you're moving houses, it's super easy when you have your own car. Yeah, yeah, that's very good. Most of the companies want you to have your own driving licenses and all that. So it's very good to have your own driving licenses in Germany. And it's a fun tool, you know, and also releases stress sometimes. Taking the train, taking the bus can be really, really stressful. So, Especially yeah. the peak hours, the rush hours. Yeah, sure. I mean, both uh, both of them are stressful, I, I think. The train mm -hmm. or the taking car because there's traffic jam and there's traffic of people in the trains as well. Yeah, yeah, sure. So you just pick your struggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so did you have your own driving license before? Yes, I did, um, but it's really funny because uh, the Kenyan exam is like you just enter the car and start it and drive for about 500 meters and then you've passed your exam. Totally different from here. Okay, okay. So, so actually you converted your driving licenses from the Kenyan one to German or you started everything afresh like you just started everything from the grassroots no when i came here i was not informed so okay. i i didn't know that you could convert your driving license oh okay but um i think it's important that i did the driving license here because most of the rules that are here i never learned so i'm glad i re did it again you know, okay. it's better to be sure than sorry yeah i think um also one of the things i realized is that um most of the signs in Germany is kind of different. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Most of the things are different. How yes. you drive yeah. and everything. I like it like here in Germany, when you are driving and it's like green for you and mm. it's green for human, you have to let the human pass before you go. It's yeah. very, very nice. I've, I haven't seen that in Africa. I don't right, know. Right, you know, right. Yeah, like the you are, you are yeah, coming to the right, um, the other direction where people are passing. You have to like stop, let the people go before you go. 
So even if um, there are a lot of people and the red will still catch you, you have to stand there. You like, still have to let them it's pass It's very, first. very good. Yeah. 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 I That's mean, very, the basics good. are the same everywhere, but the rules are different yeah, everywhere yeah. as well. In Germany, you have to follow those rules. And yes. it's very nice. So um, what's the process you went through to get your driving license here in Germany? Uh, so I, I went to the drivers, uh, to the driving school. Oh, okay. That's obviously the first place you go to. You go to the okay. driving school and, okay, first of all you have to find out which driving school you want to go to. Yeah, a lot of them. Yes, so. you can just research uh, through Google, you know, the, yeah. the one that's nearest to you. But most importantly, the one that is not as expensive because yeah. most of them are, are different. There are some that are really pricey. And some are not that pricey so you just find a driving school and go there and apply or register for uh, for driving school and then you get an um, a formula that uh, needs to be filled so I personally went to the driving school and applied for for it for the for the course and then I, I got a formula that um, was supposed to be taken through the it's called uh, TÜV it's the driver licensing authority okay and the other documents that you need for that is an i test you need a z test also need the first aid course and uh, a passport picture of yourself and then you send these documents to the driving licensing the driver's licensing authority and they are going to check through your document and confirm if you are eligible to start the driving school and the process takes about maybe two weeks or depending and, and then the driving school gets the, the go ahead from the licensing agency and then you can start your classes yeah actually that's basically it and then you start with the theory in between the theory you can also start the driving lessons the practical lessons okay. uh, yeah and so um, how much do you pay for the for the driving school like in average like how much it, I'm, I'm it going depends to, on the school yeah, yeah but um, what's the average in Germany about 1500 to 2000 it can even be more depending wow. on how fast you learn actually because the practical lessons you might need to do to redo them in case uh, you know you, have, you need uh, you might need many lessons in the practical section and if you fail the exams you have to repay them all over again wow like the theory the theory you write yes. or how is it done no is it done it's done on a computer so you just click on ah, okay. Yeah. okay so after that when you pass then you also do the practical test right yes uh, only when you have passed the theory can you do the ah, practical okay exam. so you have to pass the theory first then you can do the practical test exactly okay so what when you fail the, um, the theory, can you do it again? Yes, you can repeat okay. the theory exam if you fail in two weeks' time. Oh, okay. Uh, so, the practicals, how is it done? Like, the exam? Yeah, the exam. You sit in the car or something like that? <laughs> yes, obviously. You sit in the car, like, mm -hmm. obviously. And then your instructor, your teacher sits on your right. Yeah, right. Yeah, on the passenger seat. Yeah. And then... And the examiner is seated behind, mostly behind on the, on the right, like, you know. Yeah. So, and he's the one who, to, to just, um, he just Great asks you, he just asks, uh, asks tells you what to do. What to do. Yes. Oh, he tells okay. you basically what you should what do. do. Yeah. And nobody, like, most of the time, nobody is talking so the, so the attention is you. so yeah. high. They are looking yeah. at you, what you do <laughs> when you get to this place. What you do when you yeah. get to this place? So yeah, so, you're already nervous and. Mm, okay. And okay. So what mistake will you do that can prevent you getting the licenses? Um, there, are, there are very many mistakes that can prevent you from getting the license. And um, for example, like some careless ones is like passing the traffic light. Obviously, you won't get the license. <laughs> or um, you know, maybe stuff like if you do not allow a passenger that has green. <laughs> to walk by yeah. you know some of the simple mistakes that can prevent you from getting it is for example if you do not if you're not confident in parking yeah wow. okay so after let's say you pass everything mm -hmm. the theory the practical you pass it so when are you going to get your licenses 
Okay, um, you you pass your theory first before mm -hmm. you do the practical. Okay. So and then you do the practical, and immediately after the practical is when the examiner tells you whether or not you have passed. And if you have passed it, you get the driving license immediately. Wow. Yes. That's so uh, the total amount I personally paid was, I believe, was over two k, and that was yeah. six six years ago. So you can imagine that the prices have risen over time, especially in Munich, where it, yeah. everything is so expensive. Sure. So I'd say you, you know, we have, you should have saved about two five or two three k, so that yeah. you can finish yeah. your, you know, finish your driving license course quickly. Yeah, and the other thing is, you know, be careful with the practical lessons because some drivers would want to make, to make you do more lessons hence paying more than you actually need yeah and also be keen when you're doing the practical lessons so you don't need to repeat one thing over and over and in case you have not passed your exam do not be afraid to you know do not be discouraged you can repeat the exam as much as you need, you need yeah. and you're going yeah. to get it so do not be discouraged okay Okay guys, uh, thank you very much for watching the video and thank you Mata for showing us the process of getting driving licenses in Germany. Uh, please subscribe to her channel, I'll leave the link in the description below. So check her out and subscribe to her. Thank you so much. Bye! You're welcome, bye!